Welcome to Cooking with Mexican Maranitos and Spinglish. Vamos a estar en el Independence Day del 4th of July de los Estados Unidos. Pero vamos a estar cocinando ahora con el Mexican Maranito. Pero primero, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Con el amigo Mr. Bibli C. Canman. John 8:34 through 36. Son set you free. Jesus, Jesus answered them, most assuredly I say to you, whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. And a slave does not abide in the house forever, but a son abides forever. Wow, that means Jesus abides forever, yeah. Therefore, if the son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. Did you see my little buddy? Se fue corriendo, se brincó porque quería freedom from the hat, but oh, se subió otra vez. Qué bueno, mijo. Quédate ahí con el Mexican. Vamos a cocinar chile con queso Mexican style. So, ahora, mira, te voy a enseñar qué vas a necesitar ahora. El fresh garlic, olive oil, Bertinolis, make sure you get the one that's for frying, not and sauteing, not the one for salads. Dos tomates, un onion, y que? Tu amigo, Mr. Black, McCormick, pepper. ¿Quién es mi otro amigo? Pues <laughs> el Larry, seasoned salt. You're gonna need about, this is about a pound and a half of Munster cheese. Ah, a pound so we're gonna use a little bit less than that you're gonna need some leche I can't tell you how much leche the leche is gonna depend when you watch the video on how much you're gonna put okay and then of course you're gonna need some long green chilies a lot of grocery stores you'll find at different seasons they'll have them roasted Cuando llegas a tu casa, mételos en un Ziploc y put them in the fridge. Freezer, sorry, freezer. Put them in the freezer and they'll be good. Then when you're ready to make the chile con queso, throw them out and you're ready. Okay, give me a minute. We're going to get started right now. Cooking chile con queso with Mexican maranitos in Spinglish. Okay, aquí estamos con Mexican maranitos. Vamos a enseñarle, mira. Los chiles estos, como te dije, like I told you, you can get these from the grocery store already pre-cooked, okay? If not, I'm gonna have to show you another time when I make chile rellenos, I'll show you how to fry them on the pan or in the grill and how to peel them and everything. But right now, let's get us a little water going. We're just gonna, once these are already cooled, cuando ya están fríos, Vas a quitar el piel. You're going to take the skin off, okay? There's this little skin. You're just going to be removing it. Woo! Tan calientes estos, hijo. Ya me está picando el throat. I don't know. How do you say throat in Spanish? Pues quien sabe. Okay, so what I do is I cut them open. I clean them out. If you don't want them real, real hot, take this little vein out, okay? If, it's, if you don't mind the hotness, and then just shred them up, okay? You shred these up. Let's try this other one. So you can take the top off before or after. It doesn't really matter. And then you're going to run it under water, getting all the skin off. I got a garbage disposal over here. That's why I'm not worried about... Tengo un... Um, ¿Cómo se dice garbage disposal en español? Um, um, Porque hace basura. Um, olla de basura, I don't know, Google, uh, face, uh, I mean, put it on the comment section, okay? But we're going to get it all. We're going to spread them. Okay. Beautiful. And then, here's our manitos. Which, my manitos are already clean. I'm going to get all that stuff out real quick, all right? All right, so here we go. Second of manos. You're gonna get the long green chilies and you're gonna get our olive oil, okay? 
So first you're gonna get a little bit of olive oil. You're just gonna grow across the bottom of the pan, okay? Because we'll put some more right now. Echale todos los chiles. Turn this on to, let's say four. Remember, I got two, three, four, five, six high. I'm gonna put it on four, which is about medium. So we're gonna take our chiles. You're gonna dice your onions in big chunks. Don't get those little chunks. Even though te van a decir, ay, es mucho cebolla y está bien grande. Mi hermana, mi sister una vez me dijo, ay, está bien grande los cebollas, que te va a pasar? Y le dije, tú no lo comes si no te gusta. Pero sabes qué, hijo, allá va estaba comiendo, echando todo. Sí, así son. Nomás hablan de ti, pero comen de más. Ok, dos cebollas. También los tomates. Big chunks. Cut your tomato in big chunks. Don't leave little ones, ok? Throw it in. Boom. Alright, so what you're going to do is put this on four. You're going to throw a little oil on the top now. See that? Alright, so now our oil is pretty good. We're not going to add the garlic yet, but how much do we usually use? We usually use one very large tablespoon. So I'm just going to get it prepared. One very, very, very large. See that? That's big. Okay, next, you're going to get your Lari seasoned salt. Okay? Remember, you just go across. Uno, dos. Tres. You're gonna learn that. The, the more food you have, la más uh, comida que tienes, the más veces te va a ir. Pero yo siempre voy como tres veces, okay? El pepper, hijo, te quiero mucho pepper. Ay, el pepper también. Uno, dos, tres, okay? No más tres veces, cada uno. Ok, ahorita voy a echar el ajo porque cocinando el ajo mucho, mmm, it burns, se quema. So, nomás vamos a estar dándole vuelta aquí por un rato, partiendo los chiles, los cebollas y todo, ok. Now, Este va a cocinar como unos 5 minutos. So, mira, le voy a poner una tapadera. Y ahorita regresamos en como 5 minutos, ¿ok? Si es más, te digo cuando regreso, ¿ok? Bye. Mira, ya son como 8 minutos. Te dije 5, pero mira, siempre nomás estoy haciendo esto por mí y mi esposa. Y hago unos sartenes chicos. I make it just a little bit for me and my wife. Hey, lo echo arriba de los huevos o le pongo así o lo como con papi, con tostadas. Pero ahorita ya están como ocho minutos. Lo voy a abrir, le voy a dar una vuelta. ¿eh? Mira cómo se están poniendo los cebollas y el tomate. Ya está cocinando, ya está cocido the long green chilies. Los chiles verdes largos, I guess, I don't know. How do you say long, how do you pronounce these chiles in Espanol? In Spanglish, son long, son long green chilies. Uh, largo verde chiles. Así son. Okay, so, le voy a echar el ajo. Un grandísimo asis, ajo. Ok, nomás le voy a poner así y le voy a tapar para que se cose arriba, ok? Ok, mira, mientras vamos a estar acá, mira este cuchillo, un amigo, Victor y Liz I love. me dieron este cuchillo de Cutco, tengo muchas cosas, Cutco, Cutco, I use Cutco, es un producto bueno, he gave me this cheese knife, wow. So, vamos a estar co cortando el queso en pedazos chicos, ok? Así y en medio, ok? So, los voy a hacer estos pedazos y en chile, 
se está cocinando. Mira, qué suave corta este cuchillo. Gracias, amigo. Y mi otros amigos, los Martínez, ¿sabes qué? Los Martínez me dieron este. Mira, qué chulo. Está bonito con mis pantalones y mis botas, ¿no? Ah, 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 ah. ¡Woo! Thank you, Martínez. Sí, y mira, aquí estamos. Nomás vamos a cortar como más de medio de esto. ¿Ok? Tú, tú, tú. Y si quieres cantarle la canción de Mike Siquen. Mike Siquen. Mike Siquen. That's whatever a huero can. Siempre hace comida bueno. Ya sabes que vamos a comer bien rico. Ahí viene el Mike Siquen. Tú. Ok, so we're going to keep cutting this to a little bit more than half. It's been a couple of min more minutes, about three more minutes. We're gonna come over here and go ahead and stir it again. We're gonna stir in the garlic now. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you what, we're gonna let it cook for five more minutes. So uh, about five, six minutes. We're gonna be back at 11.30, okay? Hey, 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 no pegas las sartenes, Mike Sique, porque te pega tu esposa. No me pegues, esposa. Estoy cocinando para usted. Sí, yo en five. Ya estamos otra vez con Mike Siquen Maranitos. Cooking me in English. Hey, look. All right. 11.32. So it's starting to heat up really good, okay? So what you want to do at this point, when you notice that the, the onions and the tomatoes are sauteed, you want to go ahead and turn the flame down to about two. Okay? You want to turn the flame down and let it start cooling down a little bit. Okay? Now, this is where it comes important where you understand. Este va a estar muy importante. Porque si no lo haces bien, no va a salir bien. This part's been easy so far. Sauteing, stirring, that's easy. Está fácil eso. Pero mira, ahorita, la importante, el leche. Uh, don't eat the pan. Ay, ¿cómo hace? Ay, esos, esos cucharas que no hacen caso. Ey, cuchara, no andes pegando la sartén, me vas a dar mucho. Ok, look, as you know, you turn this down, bájale hasta como dos. Si está muy caliente, bájale poquito más, ¿ok? Pero la cosa que va a pasar es tienes que mirar cuánto leche le vas a echar. You're going to put milk in here, and you're going to go around and put milk till it covers the chili and stuff, ¿ok? See how it's covering it? So the more chili and onion you have, la base voy a ir. Y chile tienes más, más leche. Pero mira, ya está más o menos. Um, it's, 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 so, it's covered. Uh, it's full of leche. Está full of shh, leche. Ok. So. Ya le puedes dar poquito vuelta. Con el leche, mira. Mira cómo está. Pero te voy a decir una cosa. Le vamos a... You're going to have to watch this. Tienes que estar mirando esto. Hey, amigo arriba. Pon tus ojos aquí. Pon tus ojos allí, mijo. Eh? Okay, so. We're going to cover it. And you literally, the minutes, I can't tell you. No te puedo decir cuánto. It depends on how hot your pan and your flame is. So, vas a tener que estar aquí mirando que es se va a estar boiling. Uh, somebody, uh, somebody told me boil. I forgot already. My, uh, put me un comment. Así se dice boil. Y también, cuando haces comment, ponle un desde en el Facebook, en el comment section, subscribe, turn on the bell, do something. Andale, hijo su. So, ya, ya es, mira, 11.35, vamos a nomás estar aquí mirando. So, 
Ahorita te, te pongo live again when it's already boiling. Ok. See you in a minute. Ok, mira. Ya son como nueve minutos. Ya se está boil. Arribando. I think. I don't know. I re somebody commented. I don't remember. Look. Me voy a dar una vuelta. Ok. Y ya está listo. Don't hit the pan. Ok, so, le voy a, estaba allí, le voy a cortar estos pedazos de queso en la mitad. That's it. And then you get the cheeses, and you just start putting them in, ok? Le estás poniendo adentro los quesos. Okay. Oh, we lost one. <laughs> uno para el lizard. Yes, uno para mí. <laughs> All right, so yes, we're just gonna put the vessels in and let them cook, all right? And you're gonna know, you're gonna see how much cheese is in here. It's gonna tell you whether, you, you're gonna know whether you're putting too much or not. All right, vas a estar poniendo el queso. Woo! No te caes, chico. Boom. Ay, 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 tenemos que lavar los manos ya, ándale, porque se tocó el queso en el piso. Ay, queso, no te estás cayendo. ¡Pum! Ok, mucho queso. Si le, la hago así, se se cae y se cae adentro. ¡Smart! Ay, Mikey. Mikey, ¿quién? Ya sabes. Ya sabes cómo hacerlo. Okay, after you get some in there, if you want to stir it, go for it. Okay, see? Start mixing it up. If you let the milk boil, like you gotta watch it as soon as it starts boiling, because if you let it boil too much, it's gonna, the milk is gonna turn to cheese. Right now, it's just liquid. And yeah, estaba bien. Como dice el queso. So, timing on this is basically watching, okay? So right now, we're gonna watch this melt. And if you notice, we have it on low, okay? The cheese will get, se esquema, quien sabe por qué? Si está arriba, okay? Mira. Rico. Ok. ¡Ay! ¡No peguen las sartenes! Ok, ahorita volvemos. Vamos a dejarle, a ver, son 47. A ver, uno dos minutos. Ahorita regresamos para acabar el show. Ok, mira. Ya son como dos, tres minutos. Y ya mero está listo. Ya mero. Mira cómo se está poniendo el queso. Ándale. Pero primero, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos con mi amigo, Mr. Bibli City Cayman. Ephesians 3, 11 through 13. Trust in Jesus. Ephesians chapter 3, 11 through 13. All this is proceeding along lines planned all by God. This is planned by God. And then executed in Jesus. So it's planned by God, executed in Jesus, when we trust in him, trust in Jesus. We're free to say whatever needs to be said, bold to go wherever we need to go. So don't let your present trouble on your behalf get you down. Be proud, okay? Don't let sin and everything else that's out there in the world gets so built up on you. Trust in Jesus. Let him give you freedom to live a better life, okay? So let's go back over here to where we were and see how we're doing. It's been a couple more minutes. It's looking like it's boiling pretty good. You know? Wow, doesn't that, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Ooh-wee. Let me get a little bit out, yeah? So we can test it. Oh, 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 you know that always happens with the cheese around here. Strong and lingy. Let's get over here by the sink where it'll cool down. Now, let me taste, let me test it to see if I'm a good cook. Hi, right. 
But those dollars aren't that good. They broke. I'm the Nishi man. Vente conmigo. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> my chicken. Otro vez. Otro recipe rico. Thank you. We'll see you next week. God bless.